We have a lot of stuff to do today, so I'm not even gonna get started with an intro. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.9 once again. And we're gonna be doing this little hexagon animated thing, and like I said, we got a lot of stuff to do. Let's get it started. I'm gonna hit B to box select over top of our camera cube and lamp. We don't need any of these things right now. Of course, if you're trying to render your scene, you can need the camera always, of course. But I'm gonna delete it for today's tutorial purposes. Hit delete, and I'm gonna grab a Shift A. And hit shift a on my keyboard and we're gonna go ahead and go to mesh cylinder and we're gonna go ahead and down here to add cylinder and change the number of vertices to i believe six nope not six uh no yeah that's six that's right <laughs> okay we're gonna change it to six and as you can see now we have just six sides of this uh cylinder i'm gonna go ahead and go to the modifiers tab over here on the right hand side and you can see i'm gonna hit add modifier we're gonna add in a couple of things we're gonna add in a boolean uh, not boolean i'm sorry we're gonna add in uh bevel not boolean uh bevel right there and we're just gonna bevel this by a little bit we're gonna turn the segments up a bit maybe to 10 10 is probably fine uh you can probably even go lower than that to five but i'm gonna do we'll do five and then we'll just turn the object uh shade smooth on there we go so like I said, we have this nice uh, cylinder here. What I want to do is we're going to go ahead and duplicate this out, like I said, and we're going to go ahead and grab the uh, RZ90 on my numpad and then left click to confirm that. So that was RX, I'm sorry, not Z, RX, RX, and then 90 on your numpad. I'm going to go ahead and hit 1 on our numpad to go to the front-facing view, and I'm going to hit Shift-D to duplicate this, and then right-click to cancel that movement, and hit GX 1.7. 3 3 and then hit enter so now you can see if we go ahead and zoom in we have a very 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 small gap in between uh, not even noticeable from far away like i said so we have that nice buffer of space so it's not clipping and then we're gonna go ahead and do this multiple different times so i want 20 of these across so i'm gonna go ahead and do this 20 times well 18 times so shift d uh 1.733 and then enter shift d gx 1.733 0.733 enter and then shift dgx 1.733 enter and then the same thing all the way across all right so i have 20 of these little cylinders here which is very nice as you can see we have 20 of these and they're all individual which is very nice which is what i need um and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and animate these now so i'm going to go ahead and hit uh, b to drag a box over top of all these select the first one it doesn't really matter which one it is then i'm going to go ahead and hit go ahead and hit i location and then go approximately maybe frame 50. And I'm also going to go ahead and make sure our frame rate is on 60 right here. So our frame rate is on 60 uh, in the scene tab. Make sure that's on 60 right there. Um, and then go to frame 50. Hit, uh, I'm sorry, hit, go to frame 100, my bad. Hit I location. Then go to frame 200. And then hit I location. And also make sure your, your in frame is on 200 as well. Right there, as you can see. Right down here. Then on frame 50, we'll go ahead and hit I uh, location and hit G Y to move these forward and then once again like I said hit I location then on frame 150 we'll hit G Y and move them backwards and you can see now we have I location so now when my players you can see that they all kind of move up forward and then back like that and then they will loop which is very nice what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, go to the modifiers tab with selecting one of these pieces go to the modifier tab and we're gonna go ahead and go to array and now you can see what it's done is it's put a uh, duplicate right there, but I don't want it to be right there. I want it to be upwards. So we're going to actually move it up a little bit on full one. And then we're going to put the, actually, I'm going to put this on 0.5. I believe it is. Uh, that's, that's not, that's not tall enough, but right there. We'll just, we'll get this as close as possible. But the point of this is, like I said, I'm going to hit one to go to the front facing view. Uh, the point of this is to get this as close as is possible uh, in this direction. So we're going to move that up. And we're going to have to do half numbers here. So actually, I'm going to go 7.75. Yeah, that's fine. I think it looks good right there. Um, now, it's not up far enough on this side. So we're actually move this around. Uh, I believe when I had this, it was like 0. 0.7. And then this was like 5.2 or something like that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I, I tested this with a space in between. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of mess with this until I get a number that I'm satisfied with, and I'll be right back. All right, so the numbers I decided to go with was for the X value was uh, 0 0.5005, and then the Y is 0 0.764. That's what we're going to do there. And now you can see if I were to go ahead and take a look at this bad boy, we can go ahead and turn the count up so that it goes forever 
all the way up there. I'm going to put that on 10. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy this bad boy. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just get, remember those numbers. I'm going to go ahead and hit, uh, what is it, Control, uh, no, no, Alt L, I believe it is. Or, no, it is Control L. We're going to hit Control L. Now you see we have modifiers down here. I'm going to hit B to box select everything with the with this one with the modifier selected last, of course. And then hit Control uh, L and then hit make uh, links to modifiers. Now you can see the modifier is now uh, perfectly in there with all of these different ones. Now you can see if I play this, the modifier will then take effect and then make links to all of that, even with the animation playing, which this looks super awesome. Now what I want to go ahead and do is go ahead and hit uh, apply on all of these arrays. So I want to make sure that all of these are ready to go. I'm actually going to turn the number of these up and no, we'll leave it for this tutorial sake i'll just go ahead and add in the camera real quick just so i can get a nice view of it to be honest with you um i'm just going to put this on camera to view there we go and just zoom in a little bit there now when we play this it comes out like that which just looks very cool so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and apply all of these modifiers so we can join them together so hit control a when in the modifiers when your cursor is over here in the modifiers tab and then you can just easily apply all of these modifiers as you can see sometimes it glitches out so what, what you need to do is you don't need to apply the array first i want you to apply the bevel first so just click the bevel first and then just hit uh control a and then it will uh, work the right way around or else it will do like that and it'll, like mess it up that's not what we need so i'm gonna go ahead and just make sure i mention that real quick so we're just gonna apply all of these by clicking bevel first and then hitting control a right afterwards now you can see we are going ahead and applying all of these your cursor also has to be in this area not over here so that's just another thing you need to keep in mind i missed there we go so now you see we have all of this stuff going really well i'm going to go ahead and apply all of these and there we go so now i'm going to hit b to box select everything and then go to object join and now you can see well it kind of messed up right there that's because we didn't apply this yeah. b to box select like i said and then hit object join and now all these are joined together if we hit tab you can see it's all one one solid piece here um, which is very nice but what i want to do is go ahead and hit uh control l uh, sorry alt l my bad alt alt what is this button okay let's just do it the manual way um we're gonna go ahead and go to um da, 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 uh, tab hit tab you go in edit mode double tap a and then go to mesh and then uh, separate by loose parts and then now you can see all of these pieces are individual which is very nice uh, we can we can use all these individually and we if we hit uh play on this you can see they all move at the same time which is not what i want but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to stagger these uh and then everything's going to look uh nice and cool so i'm going to split a window into two by hitting this little plus button and moving everything up like that then go ahead and go to the dope sheet which is this bad boy right here now you can see over here on the right hand side we have all of these different uh, key keyframe pieces and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom this uh, in very close like that, so you can see. And with just a few of these selected, I'm gonna hit uh, C to kind of brush some of these around, just to kind of select some random keyframes here and there. Um, middle mouse button. Once again, middle mouse button to deselect things if you don't want to select them. Uh, I'm using the right mouse button to uh get off of the cursor so right mouse button to get rid of that now you can see what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go to the first frame anything is on which is the 20th frame and then we're going to go ahead and, and hit s and then just scale these like this right so a lot of times with animation the less you do is more this is the more you do the better it looks so just try and get in here and move as much many of these keyframes around as you possibly can try and see what looks better i'm going to make my brush really small by moving it around and scaling with my my uh my mouse button scrolling my mouse wheel very cool i hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye